In the Ottoman Empire, two women stand out for their remarkable influence and power, Hurrem Sultan and Kozum Sultan. Their lives, though separated by decades, offer a compelling study of ambition, strategy, and the unique positions women held in the male-dominated empire. The joyful Empress Hurrem Sultan, born as Roxolana around 1504, began her life in the Ottoman court as a slave. Captured by Crimean Tatars and sold into the imperial harem, her charm and intelligence caught the eye of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent One. Breaking tradition, Suleiman married Hurrem, making her his legal wife and the first to receive the title of Hasiki Sultan. Hurrem bore Suleiman five sons and a daughter, though not all survived the perilous journey to adulthood. Her life was a blend of personal triumph and tragedy, marked by the loss of her sons Saitsad Memd and Saitsad Sihanger, and the political turmoil involving her other children. She lived a relatively long life for her era, passing away on April 15, 1558, at the age of around 54. Hurrem's death was natural, and she was laid to rest in a magnificent mausoleum within the Suleimanai Mosque complex. The regent matriarch Kozum Sultan, born Anastasia, was of Greek origin and also began her journey in the Ottoman court as a slave. She rose to prominence as the favorite of Sultan Ahmed I and bore him several children, including two future sultans, Murad IV and Ibrahim I. Kozum's regency marked a period of significant influence for women in the empire. She managed state affairs, navigated palace intrigues, and maintained stability during times of turmoil. Her tenure as a power broker is often referred to as part of the Sultanate of Women, a time when women of the Ottoman dynasty wielded substantial political influence. Kozum's life was longer than Hurrem's. However, she was assassinated on September 2, 1651, at the age of approximately 62. Her death was a violent end to a life filled with political intrigue, as she was strangled by men in the entourage of her daughter-in-law, Turhan Sultan. Kozum had seven children, with her sons Murad IV and Ibrahim I ascending the throne, and her daughters marrying into powerful political families. Comparing their lives and legacies, both Hurrem and Kozum Sultan redefined the role of women in the Ottoman Empire. Hurrem's marriage to Suleiman set a new precedent, while Kozum's regency during her son's reigns marked the height of female political influence in the empire. Hurrem's life was intimately tied to Suleiman, and her influence waned with his death. In contrast, Kozum's power extended beyond the reign of her husband, as she served as regent for her sons and grandson. Hurrem's legacy is one of love and partnership, while Kozum's is characterized by her regency and governance. Hurrem's life, though filled with personal losses, was relatively peaceful compared to Kozum's, which ended in a brutal assassination. Kozum lived a longer life, but it was marked by the constant struggle to maintain her position and influence. Reflecting on the lives of Hurrem and Kozum Sultan, we see two paths marked by power, intrigue, and the unyielding will to influence the course of history. Hurrem's life was a tale of love and partnership with the Sultan, while Kozum's story was one of regency and governance. Both faced the challenges of their times with resilience and cunning. So, dear audience, which life captivates you more? Would you prefer the passionate rise of Hurrem Sultan, who found love and power beside Suleiman the Magnificent? Or does the political acumen and regency of Kozum Sultan, who navigated the empire through its challenges, resonate with you? Share your thoughts on which Sultana's life you would have preferred and why. Their stories continue to fascinate us, offering a glimpse into the extraordinary lives of women who shaped an empire.